Well, Sunday is Mother's Day, which normally is filled with brunch, family gatherings, and an awful lot of presents, of course, for mom. But tonight, a word of warning from health officials and leaders as we hear from Two on Your Side's Jackie Roberts. We've heard repeatedly from government and health officials that human behavior can determine how the coronavirus spreads. You tell me how we behave today, I will tell you the rate of infection three days from now. And local leaders are urging people to keep that in mind this Mother's Day weekend. You may have the coronavirus and not know it. You could be an asymptomatic transmitter. You do not want to give your mother the worst gift she could possibly get on Mother's Day, which is the coronavirus. We asked Juliana Wasura for her input. She's an infection control coordinator at Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. We're not there yet. Um, we can't ease up because if we ease up, then the time frame that we're looking at is a two week time frame that when things can can start to spike again. So we have to do our due diligence. She says planning any kind of gathering could be a slippery slope. If it's going to snow, they'll, they'll want to congregate inside, and, you know, and then they'll, there'll be those instances when you're not physically distanced and people aren't going to be wearing masks and somebody's going to use your restroom and there's contact surfaces and, and those sorts of things. So um, it's important just to not take those chances. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown suggests connecting with loved ones virtually. Even though we are physically distant, we're not distant from one another. That's what I would recommend that families do uh, this Mother's Day to keep mom, to keep grandmom safe and not spread the virus in our community. And while statewide it looks like our numbers are on the decline, experts say we have to stay vigilant with social distancing measures. We don't want to put anyone at risk. It's it's not worth it. I mean, we, we need to buckle down and, and stay, uh, stay the course. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.